Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning lad on C++ programming. So in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you about the get and put stream positioning. All IO stream objects keep internally at least one internal position. So this internal position tells from where we want to read the next character if we are performing the next read operation or you know where we have to write the next character if we are performing the right operation. So here if we use an object of the IF stream or the input file stream class you know similar to the I stream class it also keeps an internal get position which contains the location of the next character that is going to be read in the next IO operation. And if we are using an OEF stream or the output file stream object, you know, it also keeps an internal put position, you know, which specifies the location, you know, where we want to write the next character in the next write operation and if we are using an object of the F stream class you know it contains both internal get and internal put position and also if it is confusing don't worry you know when we see the example it's going to be clear so this internal get and set positions are not only uh, available in the file streams they are available in all kinds of streams all right what we're going to do is here for the demonstration purpose uh, we're going to create an object of the IEF stream. So it's going to be IEF stream and let's say file and uh, let's say the file name is anil.txt and we want to open that in the read mode or in in mode. All right. And uh, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to check whether the file has successfully opened or not. So it's going to be if not file dot is open we're just gonna say error else you know if the file has opened successfully then we're gonna get the get position so here to get the current get position of this file object or this file stream you know what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a function called tell g so i'm gonna use c out and I'm going to write file dot tell g and that's it no parameters all right the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to open up the folder where we have saved our project and we're going to create a new file and it's going to be a text document and let's call it as anil and just open it up and I just going to write this is some text here all right and i'm going to save this and i'm going to close it and then i'm going to build and run this now you guys can see you know by default you know when we open a file in the read mode you know the get position is set to zero you know the get position is used you know when we perform a read operation on this stream here so here when we read from this stream you know the read starts from the get position so here the get position is at zero or the first position and that's why you know if you read from this we're gonna read all these contents so just to demonstrate that what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna create an object of this string class and let's say line and then i'm gonna use the get line method to read so it's gonna be get line and we want to read from this file and we want to store that in line and then i'm going to use c out and print out line all right now i'm going to build and run this now you guys can see you know it says this is some text here now you know because the get position is at the beginning you know we are reading from the beginning now we can change the get position value so to change the get position value we need to use a function called seek g so i'm going to use file dot seek g and here we're going to pass let's say the position let's say we want to read from the second position now i'm going to build and run this and now you guys can see you know is is some text here that's because it has read it from the second position you know 0 1 
and 2 that's why you know it starts from i and then it prints is is some text here so you know since this i of stream class is used to read from the file you know it has a get position so let's say if we have used any object of the of stream you know it maintains put position you know which specifies where the next character is to be written in the next write operation so here we're just gonna open it in the out mode and here we're gonna remove this code and now first we're gonna print out the put position which is stored in this object file so it's gonna be c out and to get the put position we need to use the tell p function you know to get the get position we need to use tell g and to get the put position we need to use tell p and let's end this line and i'm just gonna build and run this you know it returns zero and also you know the contents of that file is removed because you know we are opening the file in write mode and uh, here uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna write some contents let's say file and uh, anil shetty rocks you know anything and then we're gonna check the put position so i'm gonna copy this and paste it in the next line and i'm gonna build and run you know it returns 17 and i'm gonna open up the file now you guys can see you know the file has anil shetty rocks and you can count from here so it's gonna be 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 so the seventeenth position is going to be the position from where the next write operation is going to take place so here what we can do is we can change the put position to change the put position we need to use a function called seek p and here we need to specify the position let's say 5 and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna write some more so it's gonna be file and he is awesome and uh, I'm just gonna use this C out and paste it here and I'm gonna build and run this now you guys can see 17 and 22 now um, I'm gonna open up the file now you guys can see Anil and he is awesome you know last time we have seen Anil Shetty rocks was there you know at that time it just printed the put position as 17 and then we changed that one to 5 and that's why you know the next write operation took from the fifth position you know 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 from S Shetty rocks is being overwritten and you know from this fifth position onwards it has started writing and he is awesome so that's why you know the shetty rocks is been overwritten here in this file all right the next thing that i want you guys to teach you is you know we have another version of this seek p is available you know where we need to specify this offset from the beginning or from the end or from the current position so for that we're going to use ios if you want to set the offset from the beginning then you need to use big and then uh, if it is from the end you need to use end and if it is from the current position then you need to use cur and similarly you know this version of seek g is also available you know which is used with the if stream object all right the next thing that i want you guys to teach you is what if we use an object of this f stream at that time both get position and put position elements are available but you know they are gonna point to the one element all right so just to demonstrate that what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna open up this one in uh, ios in and then uh, i'm gonna remove all this code see out and it's gonna be file dot tell g and let's end this line and i'm gonna copy this and paste it in the next line and i'm gonna change this one to tell p and i'm gonna build and run this you know we get zero and zero and uh, and if we change the value of one you know the chain will be reflected in another also because you know they are pointing to the same position or the same element so here what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna copy this and paste it here 
and we're gonna change the value of let's say CP and let's set it one two and I'm gonna build and run this you know now you guys can see you know both the tell G and the, you know tell P has returned the same value and here also you know the another version of this seek p and also the get p is available and uh, you know we can use them you know just like the way we were using the if stream or of stream class objects so this is it guys this is about the get and push stream positioning in c plus thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next tutorial